Imagine just talking to your to-do app for a minute and having it automatically turn all of your ramblings into neatly organized to-dos. Well, the popular task manager Todoist now lets you do exactly this. So in Todoist, I can literally just start talking and say something like, I need to call my accountant tomorrow afternoon and I need to follow up on that invoice by Friday. Those are admin tasks. And look at that. Todoist captures both of these tasks, sets the correct dates, and assigns them to the right project. I've been teaching Todoist for years. I even run an entire course on Todoist. And not just on Todoist, but also on other task managers. I've tried pretty much every task manager out there, so trust me when I say that this is really impressive and every Todo app should have this feature. But while Ramble is impressive, is it reliable and accurate enough for day-to-day -day use? What happens if you misspeak? And is this feature available for you right now? Well, let's dive into that. But first, real quick, if this feature seems intriguing to you or useful to you, you will love my completely free Todoist cheat sheet. And the link to that is in the video description. Ramble is currently a beta feature. This is what Todoist calls an experimental feature. So we've got to turn on experimental features in your Todoist account. Here's how we do that. We just head over to the Todoist settings. Then we click general and we scroll all the way down until we see experimental features and just make sure that those are turned on. And by the way, Ramble is also already available on mobile. It's very cool to put this on your phone's lock screen and when you're on the go, just pulling out your phone, pressing that Ramble button, speaking, and having to do is do exactly this. But I wanna show you how this works on desktop for now. And we're gonna do a few examples and then evaluate how each example does. And it's fun because I don't know in advance how well it's gonna do because sometimes it works super accurately and sometimes it doesn't, okay? So let's do uh, the next example and it is as follows. I need to finish the Q4 report, put that in the business project and make it high priority. The deadline for that is next Monday. And I want you to add the label deep work. It got that right. Totally right, perfect. You can see it's priority one, scheduled for today, deadline for next Monday, the label deep work, the business project, amazing. All right, let's do another one. See how it does on this one where we're gonna do a few tasks at a time. Remind me to review my budget every first Monday of the month. That's an admin thing. To water the plants every Tuesday and Friday, that's a home thing. And to do a weekly review every Sunday evening, that's an admin thing too. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's actually add these tasks and look at the water the plants task. So I'll just go over into home and go to the water the plants task and see the repetition schedule every Tuesday and Friday. Nice, that worked very well. Okay, let's do the next example. I'll head back over to today. And the next example is, let's imagine that we're doing like a morning brain dump or something like that. Okay, so I need to today send that email to Sarah, schedule the team meeting for some time next week. That should only take about 15 minutes. I need to buy a birthday gift for dad. His birthday is on the 15th. And I should probably prep for my speech. That is due Wednesday, uh, and it's a business thing. Oh, actually that last one is a Toastmasters thing. Okay, so you'll see that in this case, it got some things right. First of all, when I asked for a correction on the last one, it corrected the project and it did that very well. And saying that, for example, oh, the speech prep should be done today and is due in five days, that was accurate. The birthday gift for dad was accurate. However, I may have had to phrase it differently to say that today I wanna to schedule the team meeting for next week, but that's all right. You know, we're doing pretty well here. So let's do one more example, and this is adding multiple tasks at a time to a specific project. You can tell I'm excited because this feels like the future of productivity, right? So, all right. For the website redesign project, I need to review the mockups by tomorrow. That's high priority. I also need to get feedback from the team by Monday and I need to schedule the implementation for next week sometime. This is pretty cool, right? It really does quite a good job. And you'll notice that if I leave more uh, time between my sentences and saying things or the specific tasks that I'm listing, it does a better job. So 
the more you actually ramble, the harder it gets, right? The, the more difficult it is for it to convert what you're saying into the right tasks. But if you enunciate, pronounce clearly, you know, if you um, are really precise, it does a good job. And here's the thing. Over time, this is going to get much better. Like, it can already assign dates, deadlines, projects, labels, uh, repetition schedules, um, it can put notes or like a dis task description, essentially, you know. And of course, as the Todoist team works on this more, and as the AI LLM models powering this feature get better, it's going to get really, really incredibly reliable, I'm sure, sooner rather than later. I generally also just love how thoughtfully the Todoist team is adding AI features to Todoist. They're solving actual pain points, right? So like this one, where lower friction on capturing and organizing tasks just means you're much more likely to stick with a task manager like Todoist. So you're much more likely to stay organized. You know, the Todoist team isn't randomly slapping AI onto everything that they can think of, right? I do know they are working on a new AI feature to do with AI agents. They teased that recently. I'm very curious to see where that is going. But big picture, this is a feature that I believe all to-do apps or all good to-do apps are going to have at some point because it's just so useful and it lowers so much friction. But, you know, it's not all about the features, right? You need a system. And so if you want to not just learn about the to-do's features but build an entire system that's going to help you get organized and stay organized, I've got two resources for you. And the first is my free to-do is cheat sheet that I mentioned before. Check that out in the video description. But if you want to take a shortcut and take and learn a real comprehensive to do a system and workflow to really truly get organized and stay organized, you'll want to take my full length to doist course. The link to that is in the video description as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.